probably going to be the ugliest video I have ever filmed, but today we're going to be doing the how I did my makeup when I was in high school challenge tag. I'm not sure if it's a challenge or a tag. I'm not really sure, but I saw Myra from Myra Touch of Glam do this. I think she got it from somebody else. I will have both videos down below, the original one and Myra's video. And I loved the idea of it. I've always wanted to do these types of like challenges and tags. Like they're really fun to do. And I never get around to filming them because I always have so many other ideas and so many glam looks and so many other things that I want to film that I always forget about filming the fun ones. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do something different and I'm going to do a tag and a challenge video. I keep seeing a tag challenge because I'm not really sure if it's a tag or if it's a challenge, but yeah, today we're going to be doing how I used to do my makeup when I was in high school. I was definitely more conservative in high school. And more conservative, I mean that I wouldn't go too crazy when it came to going to school. On the weekends, I was it was definitely something else. The weekends, I would go all out. Funny enough, I used to match my eyeshadows to whatever color of clothing I was, I was wearing on that particular day. So if I was wearing a blue shirt, I used to do blue shadow. If I was wearing green, I used to do green shadow. If I was doing black, I used to do a black smoky eye. Like, you know, not a perfect black smoky eye, but I definitely used to pack on the black. That was more for the weekend. I'm also going to be showing you guys how I used to style my hair when I was in high school, which is pretty funny. And uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm kind of nervous because God knows I was not the makeup artist I am today when I was in high school. And funny enough, I wear a white polo for work so I thought it would be perfect to wear it in the video because in high school my uniform was a white polo and khaki pants just like my job now so I was like you know what I'm gonna keep my polo and I'm really gonna make this like high school so yeah <laughs> um so okay let's get started when I was in high school at the age of 15 I was a freshman in high school my mom took me to the Mac counter that's all I wanted for my 15th birthday I wanted to have a full face of MAC makeup for my birthday. I thought that was the coolest thing in high school. MAC was the ish. Like everybody wanted MAC, so I wanted MAC too. Back then, I thought MAC was super expensive and super high end. So if you had MAC makeup, that was like a really big deal. My mom took me to the MAC counter in Westland Mall in Hialeah, Florida and I was so shy I was so overwhelmed I was like oh my god like I can't believe I'm really going to get MAC makeup for my teens and I was going to use it for my pictures I, I, I wanted to do my own makeup for my pictures I was like, super excited so she took me to the MAC counter I was super overwhelmed and I remember the girl and she was like how can I help you guys and my mom was like She's about to turn 15 and she wants to start experimenting with makeup and for her birthday she wants a full face of MAC makeup that's age appropriate, you know, nothing too crazy, nothing too extravagant, just something that she can, you know, start to test the waters. I was super excited and she started pulling stuff out. I got an eyeshadow, I got a brush, I got some foundation and I used to wear that every single day to school and there was a point that I was too white for my foundation and I would still wear it because I was obsessed, it was MAC, it was the best and I was like, you know what, I am rocking this foundation and I'm never gonna forget one time in lunch, one of my friends comes up to me and goes, did you go to the beach? You look a little tan. Little did he know, the foundation just did not match me. It was not my color and I looked really, really tan. So that's a little backstory on how I started wearing makeup to high school. So. Yeah, let's get started now with the video. So funny enough how a lot of the things that I wore to high school to this day, they're probably expired, but I still have them in my collection. I don't use them as much. I just keep them because I have such a good memory of going to the Mac counter with my mom and buying everything. So that's why I keep it with me. But let's get started back in high school primers and moisturizers weren't that big of a deal I definitely did not moisturize my skin which is horrible and that's probably why my skin sucks now and I wouldn't use any primer that was for sure like primer was not a thing when I was in high school 
So we're gonna skip it because I didn't use it in high school, so I'm not gonna show you guys that today. For foundation, every single morning I used to use the MAC Full Coverage Foundation in NC35. I used to have acne when I was in high school. My freshman and sophomore year of high school, I had a lot of acne in my cheeks. So the girl at the MAC counter asked me if I wanted something full coverage or something more natural, and I was like, no. Give me that full coverage so I can cover all of this up because I did have a lot of acne So I used to use this almost every single morning on the days that I did wear makeup to school The way that I used to apply this is actually with the applicator that came in the foundation like with a little brush None of the fancy foundation brushes were in when I was in high school So since I don't have that anymore, I'm going to be using a wedge and I'm just going to swirl my wedge in there and I'm just going to apply it straight on to the face. I'm kind of nervous. I feel like this is so not proper anymore. So I just used to apply it like this. And let's apply the foundation. And I have no idea how I used to use this applicator when I was in high school because my foundation is going on so streaky. Okay, let's keep applying this. I used to apply this everywhere, under the eyes, everywhere. I used to like pack my face with this with this foundation. Oh my god, my skin looks horrible. This foundation is great, but definitely not for high school. Like this is a lot of makeup for high school, but you know. I didn't know any better. I had a lot of breakouts that I needed to cover. So I was like, okay, let's pack it on. So I used to do like two or three layers of this until my whole entire face was even and one color because I hated my breakouts. I was so insecure about my breakouts that I used to pack the foundation on. Oh my God, this looks ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, it's so streaky. So after I had my foundation done, I used to go in with a bronzer and this is so embarrassing, but I used to use the Juicy Couture bronzer. This is my ish. Like I used to wear this every single day. I can't believe I still have it. This is probably like super expired. I got this in a Juicy Couture perfume and I wore it every single day. Like It is disgusting. Like. That is so worn out, but I used to love this bronzer and I used to pack it on. And I used to like dip the heck out of my brush into my bronzer and I used to bronze my skin everywhere. Like, I used to apply this everywhere. So oh, let's do this. So I used to just apply it everywhere. I used to go crazy. I just put it all over my cheeks. The more bronzer, the better when I was in high school. I wanted to look tan. I wanted to look sun-kissed. I just loved to be bronzy. And I'll show you guys some pictures of me when I was in high school so that you guys can see my makeup. But, oh my God, my under eyes is already creasing. Like, how did I notice this when I was in high school? How? How did I go through high school with creasy under eyes? Like, bronzer in high school was big. Like, that's all I used to do. I used to just shower myself in bronzer. Oh my god. I can't take myself serious. After bronzer was done, I used to go in with a blush. And oh my god, I still have the blush that I used to use. I used to use Pink Spoon by MAC. This is like a pink, pink, pink blush. Like it is fluorescent pink. Go in with the same brush I used for my bronzer and I would pack on the blush. So, pack it on. Oh my God, this used to, <laughs> this is so pink. So I used to smile and I used to put this in the apples of my cheeks and I used to make myself really, really, really pink. I'm gonna put pictures because this is so embarrassing. So, okay, here goes nothing, so. that bad on camera but <laughs> why did I do this why I used to pack it right on top like right on top I'll post pictures I swear I'm gonna post pictures 
By the way, I skipped concealer because in high school, I had no idea what concealer was. I had no idea what dark circles were. Dark circles came like two, three years after high school. So yeah, I miss high school. After I was done with my blush, I would go in with eyeliner. I used to have a love affair with my eyeliner. I feel like every girl in my high school did. We used to pack it on. And when I mean pack it on, I mean pack it on. Like we used to go in so intense and so dark with our eyeliner that by the end of the day, our eyeliner was like here. But <laughs> <laughs> it was so crazy and I thought I looked so good. I thought I looked super exotic with my black liner and it, no, I didn't. So I used to use the one by MAC. I don't own it anymore. So I'm just going to take any black eyeliner and I'm going to just really do this intensely. I used to take it and I used to do a thin line. Let me show you guys. So I used to put this like that. But that wasn't enough. After I had my base, I would go in like <laughs> until it was like really dark and thick. So let me, ooh, dirty. <laughs> just go under and just pack it on. The thicker, the better. So I used to pack that puppy on all the way. It was like that. Like, I'm not even joking. It was like that. I used to put on so much liner that it just looked crazy. It looked crazy. Like, it literally looked crazy, but I didn't realize that. I realize that now. But back then, I thought it was the coolest thing to have, like, super intense. I just got punched in the face liner. It was the cool thing to do. So, I loved it. So, and sometimes I would get upset if it wasn't thick enough. Like, I was like, man, I could have done my liner thicker. So I was like in home room just like thickening up my liner because I needed it to be like a specific thickness. I don't know. Once my liner was done, I used to go in with this shadow right here. This is an old school MAC palette. Like this is how old these shadows are. I used to use Pink Venus. This was the first MAC shadow I ever owned. And this is the first brush I ever bought myself from MAC. This is the two... I can't even read the 239, I believe. I used to grab Pink Venus, which is a pink shadow, and I used to put this all over my lid, like all over. I used to put it everywhere, all the way even up to the brow bone sometimes. Like I used to pack this on. I used to like put this everywhere. And then I used to go in with mascara. So I'm gonna just put mascara on. I used to do a lot of layers of mascara. I used to do like, I used to wait for my mascara to dry and then once it would dry, I would go ahead and reapply. And I would do that like three or four times so that my lashes can be really thick and clumpy. Cause I used to love that look, so. I would wait for this to dry a little bit and then I would go ahead and reapply it again. I would skip straight through the eyebrows because I would never do my eyebrows in high school like ever. I have pretty thick brows so I wouldn't do anything to them. I wouldn't clean them. I wouldn't brush them. I would just let my brows be. I would definitely get them done but I wouldn't, I wouldn't color them in. I would just let my brows be. And then of course I had my gloss. I always used to use this gloss. If it was in this gloss it was worn by Victoria's Secret. Myra said the same thing that she always had a Victoria's Secret gloss with her and I did too. If it wasn't Victoria's Secret it was these by Maybelline and this is the this is, this is the Maybelline uh, Shine Sensational Lip Gloss. I always used to wear this. If I didn't have this on I would have on another gloss that came in a tube like this. I love them because they were really pigmented and glossy and they would stay on and they were very sticky and I used to love them so I'm going to go ahead and apply some gloss the scent of this gloss brings back so many memories 
so many memories thought i miss high school <laughs> so that is it for the makeup portion this is what i used to do when i was in high school almost every single morning on my way to school in homeroom at home i used to wake up early just to do my makeup for school and yeah the camera is not picking it up as intense as it is but holy pink i want to show you guys what i used to do to my hair i used to buy these headbands in cvs and walgreens or Publix. it had to be these specific ones because these are the ones that everybody used to use and especially the clear one the clear one was very very popular and these are like 99 cents and we all had them like all the girls had these well at least most of the girls had these so these were the headbands that we used to use they're very easy to break so we used to buy them like by bulk because they were super cheap they were only like a dollar so we used to brush the hair all the way back like all the way back and this would only work if your hair was clean if your hair was not clean you weren't going to get the same poof effect so keep that in mind if you try to do this at home and then we used to go in with our headband we used to put our headband all the way back like it's all the way back here and then we used to push it forward like that oh. <laughs> and then back to the front so back and front the bigger the poof the better you looked and then we used to bring these out the little hairs on the sides I feel like I'm back in high school. Oh my god. I feel like I'm back in high school. Oh my god. Pretty much it. That is how I used to do my makeup and my hair in high school. I'm going to try to find pictures so that I can show you guys and you guys can laugh with me. I feel like I'm back in high school. Not going to lie. This is a little trippy. I feel like I'm back in high school. It's so weird. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I really hope you guys found this video definitely not helpful. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had a laugh. Please let me know if you guys create this tag or this challenge. Leave your link in the comment section so that I can go and check it out and have a laugh with you because this is hilarious and I'm really happy that I did it. And yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys very soon with another video.